Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. And if you found this video in any way, then you are meant to hear this message. But before we get started, if you are interested in a personal angel guide reading, then feel free to click the link below in the description. So now, let's get started. Enjoy. And the first card I picked for you today is Healing. And this card is coming to you today because you need to start the healing process. Ignorance is not helping you. The time is now to turn around and face what is disconnecting you from yourself. You need to find the rupture, no matter how fine or small. You are in a place of disharmony. Your wholeness has been weakened. And if you feel overwhelmed, you can always seek professional help. But accepting that it is time for you to actively start the healing process is important. And if you are ailing from the lingering effect of a hurtful experience, then it might be helpful to find a different perspective. Because you, as all of us, have to go through experiences which we have to process in order to learn. And sometimes the learning experience and the change of behavior is the only positive thing you will get. And most of the time, you might not be able to see it as something positive. That is why it is crucial to face what hurts, analyze it, and start exploring perspectives. Because perspectives help to understand and respect the process that you had to go through. The positive side is that you went through it. You are here, still standing, and it made you stronger. And the second card I picked for you today is battle. Do you feel like your existence has become a battle? And when I talk about battle, I talk about that feeling of being completely defeated by life. The routine which seems to have become unbearable. Maybe you feel like a hamster running on a wheel and cannot find a way to stop that wheel. And facing the fact that it is indeed a battle you're fighting will help you to bring it out into the open. And once it is in the open, you can analyze your situation from all sides. It'll open the channel to find solutions. So find the part in you which allows a life of unhappiness and face that dark part. The emotions which might come up can be frightening or make you wonder about yourself. But be assured that the process you started is providing a base for confidence, peace, and freedom. Now, it can be a very exhausting process to constantly learn or do what you're supposed to do. And I'd like you to understand that it is not a learning process like studying in school or as you navigate your work life. Your learning process is more about being aware of your feelings and wishes. What drives you? How often do you compromise your satisfaction, happiness, or personal peace to the advantage of others? How often do you neglect what is important and healthy for you? And if you can pause and answer those questions truthfully, then you are in the middle of your learning process. And if you can become still and listen to the answers, then you are progressing forward because once you have those answers, you know what to change. So thank you everybody for joining me in today's video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.